Hey guys, a quick tutorial about AppSync this week um, because I found a cool thing. Um, uh, it's a bit weird, but it's cool. This is what it sounds like. And I thought it was very scary, especially when, I, when I'm gonna add some uh, external reverb. Could be a, a cool sound effect or for in the drop. So what I did is um, I'll try and reproduce it in the second oscillator. I chose a granular as my mode, and then from the factory library, so I chose the glass broke and. Um, just a normal filter after that and that filter is modulated but just a tiny bit I think the main sound comes from um, my favorite eteriser effect and let's see we've transposed this down minus 12 and uh, timing is on 10 density on 5 and these are just I, c I can tell you why this works. This, these are just things that you um, need to mess around with for uh, for a little time because it depends on uh, it d depends a lot on the sample that you're using. So now we got pretty much the same sound, and if we just use the dry sound. And I really like that sound and um, if you're wondering uh, what you could do with something like this what I would do for example is um, I make audio out of it and then I would use well let's stay in absent territory let's use an um, absent effect and then we can audio in that's fine use filter so we can automate that by setting it to uh, macro control and then learning the automation so like that and we have just a basic filter And this would be the, the perfect sound to use before a drop instead of the boring uh, noise sounds that everyone is using. And we can even use some additional effects like um, the, uh, this one. There's just so much stuff you uh, can do from this point, uh, from this point onwards. So uh, that's a quick little idea. Have fun with that, and I see you next week.